Is the Chinese pressure on Bhutan succeeding? Have the Chinese been able to successfully create a rift between India and Bhutan? Has Beijing pressured Thimpu into ceding land? Well, it looks like the answer is yes. Meet Lote Shering. He is the Prime Minister of Bhutan and recently he gave an interview to a Belgian daily where he said that China has a say in the Doklam issue much like India and Bhutan. Let me read out his exact statement. Doklam is a junction point between India, China and Bhutan. It is not up to Bhutan alone to solve the problem. We are three. There is no big or small country. There are three equal countries, each counting for a third. If you don't find the statement jarring, then allow me to add some context to it. Doklam was a place where six years ago, India and China came near to a military conflict. In 2017, China was trying to extend an illegally constructed road and stretch it towards Mount Kipmochi and the Jamperi Ridge, which is adjacent to Doklam. And Indian troops prevented this construction. The standoff lasted two months. The Jamperi Ridge is in Bhutan and Gipmochi sits on the border between India and Bhutan. Why was the Indian army involved? Because Doklam overlooks parts of India. And for obvious security reasons, India does not want China to get access to Doklam. But Beijing wants this military advantage and that is why it has been eyeing Doklam and claiming all of Dokla. Let's pull out a map for you. This is Batang La. This is where the tri-junction point between the three countries lies. On the west is India's Sikkim. On the north is China's Chumbi Valley. And on the south and east is Bhutan. This is the tri-junction point that is internationally accepted. China wants it shifted by 7 kilometers, 7 kilometers south of Batangla. Somewhere here, near the peak of Mount Kipmochi. Moving this tri-junction point would legally make the entire Doklam Plateau a part of China and give it a site of the strategic Siliguri Corridor. Something that is obviously not acceptable to India. In fact, back in 2017, Bhutan's position was analogous with India's. But that seems to have changed quickly. Six years later, the Bhutanese Prime Minister says there has been no intrusion by the Chinese into Bhutan. Again, let me quote him. A lot of information is circulating in the media about Chinese facilities in Bhutan. We are not making a big deal about them because they are not in Bhutan. We have said it categorically. There is no intrusion as mentioned in the media. This is an international border and we know exactly what belongs to us. And how true is this claim? Satellite images show Chinese constructions along the Amochu River Valley. There are Chinese villages here, not one or two, but several. The Chinese have also constructed a road here and this road goes through Bhutan. So here's the bitter truth. China is salami slicing Bhutan and the country's leadership is looking the other way even legitimizing the Chinese intrusion and occupation by denying it altogether. Shering is also giving up ownership of Bhutanese land on which the Chinese have created settlements. You see, he is telling the world that China has a stake and a say in Doklam, whereas Beijing does not and should not either. And as for New Delhi, it is choosing to remain silent but does that in any way dial down the security challenge of having China breathing down India's neck? Shering says that his country is ready for discussion, provided the, two, provided the other two countries are. 
But whatever does he plan to discuss? The status of Dokla? What happened to fighting for one's land, to protecting one's country? Less than four years ago, in 2019, Shering had told an Indian daily that no country should do anything near the trijunction point, unilaterally. And today, he is publicly ceding land. You see, the timing could not be more interesting because this interview comes months after a meeting in the Chinese city of Kunming. Who all were a part of this meeting? Bhutanese and Chinese officials. And these officials met to discuss a three-step roadmap to settle the border disputes. A joint statement was released soon after. So we are back to the questions that we started with. Is the Chinese pressure on Bhutan succeeding? Have the Chinese been able to successfully create a rift between India and Bhutan? Has Beijing pressured Thimpu into ceding land? I think you have the answers. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.